Now, here's your forecast first from Fox 11 severe weather expert Patrick Powell. A little bit of light rain in scattered areas for the eastern sections of our viewing area. Northwest still seeing a little bit of wet snow, and it's really not making a big push towards the east. The rain snow line, at least. We are seeing the precipitation move through, but the temperatures have been fairly stagnant. I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you this loop. You can see everything kind of working off towards the northeast. And eventually this is going to break up. I think scattered precipitation will continue through about midnight, maybe as long as 1 a.m. for the northeast corner of the area. 39 cloudy skies right now in Green Bay. Haven't seen any precipitation here as of yet. Wind south at 6 miles an hour. Dew points at 32. Don't be surprised to see a little bit of light rain moving through over the next few hours. Maybe a few wet snowflakes mixed in. But temperatures to about 33 by tomorrow morning. 40 at noon. And then 43 mostly cloudy tomorrow afternoon. So right now severe weather index in low category. A little bit of light rain, especially for the vast majority of our area. Snow to the northwest where you could see a little bit of a dusting on grassy areas, especially up near Anago and Mountain and Northwest. Right now, 38 in Oshkosh, dew points at 30, winds out of the south at 5 miles an hour. You can see the rain moving towards the northeast, trying to mix in Shawano, but right now it has looked mainly wet on the Shawano, our Shawano camera, and our Shawano temperature is still at 39, so it's going to be tough, even with snowflakes falling at 39. If snow starts to mix in, it's likely going to be melting on contact. Sturgeon Bay camera, you've seen some light showers to the north in the Door Peninsula, but really nothing at Sturgeon Bay so far. So we have this little batch of snow that's it's mainly been confined to north central Wisconsin throughout the day. Currently 39 in Green Bay and 39 in Fond du Lac. And then you can see that cooler pocket of air right over the north central parts of the state. And that's where they've been seeing the snow. So a wider view shows that snow pretty much in place. Another reinforcing shot of cold air driving across the uh, central portions of Canada. So we have this first front that moves through. A couple of scattered showers, especially early tonight. Then a break and mostly cloudy through much of the day tomorrow. Another wave of low pressure moves by that drags in snow when the colder air is in place overnight tomorrow night and into Friday morning. Then that shifts off towards the east and then a secondary cold front really brings in a cold punch for the weekend. 43 for the high tomorrow, 33 for the high on Friday and then 24 Saturday, 24 for the high on Sunday and it stays cool most of next week, a high of 33 on Monday. Here's a close up look at it on future track. You can see the snow and the rain kind of breaking up between now and midnight. A couple of flurries out northwest even into tomorrow morning, mostly cloudy through the day tomorrow and then overnight tomorrow night into Friday morning. Some light snow moving through. Snowfall amounts uh, pretty minor for most of the area. Most of it's going to come down tomorrow night, but northwest sections could see an inch or two, especially up in uh, Langlade, Forest and Florence counties. For tonight, light rain showers kicking over to some light wet snow for northwest sections. 33 for the low. Tomorrow, mostly cloudy, some light snow overnight. 43 for the high. That light snow continues into early Friday morning. Otherwise, partly cloudy and 33 for the opening of gun deer season. 24 for the high on Saturday with mostly cloudy skies and a stray flurry possible. 24 also the high on Sunday and a cold tailgate. Sunday morning, partly Ooh. cloudy skies though, but boy, temperatures probably in the teens for tailgate and then 33 on Monday. And my winter forecast is going to be tomorrow on Fox 11 News at 5 and 9. And I'll let you know how much snow you can expect this season, how cold it's going to be. This is a named storm. Winter storm Alice is moving this way and we're all going to see snow. It's going to be a fairly significant snow, but this is really a pretty moderate event that we would typically see during the winter here in Wisconsin. Most of our viewing area will end up about six inches. I think by the time it's said and done, a few areas will end up a little bit closer to eight, especially along the lakeshore and Manitowoc and Sheboygan counties. And as you move northwest, amounts will drop off. Right now, the snow is over Iowa, Missouri, Northeast Kansas. It's really centered on the Kansas City area, which is really what the models were suggesting for right now. The models have been doing very well with this storm for days, and it looks like this storm will continue on a path right up across the southern portions of Wisconsin and right into our area. Currently, we're at 26. 
things quiet at this point. Winds out of north northeast 13 miles an hour. Not going to see any snow until about 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning. Then we're going to see the snow pick up in intensity through the overnight and it's going to snow pretty heavy through the morning hours tomorrow. That's when we're going to see the bulk of the snow between say 4 a.m. and about noon I think is when the heaviest snow is going to fall. But the latest computer models are indicating that the intensity isn't going to be quite as bad that it's just going to last a little bit longer. High temperature tomorrow around 24. Severe weather index in the high category. We're going to see snow. Another problem with this storm is that it's the temperatures are cold. Winds are going to be strong, so you get that drier snow. So it's going to be blowing around quite a bit, especially through the day tomorrow. So Winter Storm Alice arrives overnight tonight. Snow starts after midnight, even in the far southern portions of our area. For Green Bay and Appleton, it's going to be more like 2 a.m. We'll likely see 2 to 3 inches overnight, another 2 to 3 inches during the morning hours tomorrow. But the light snow is going to linger all the way into Monday now, it looks like. And we'll finish off between 6 and 8 inches. Most of the area, probably right around 6, 6.5 half inches by the time it's said and done as we head into Sunday night and during morning hours on Monday with the fresh snow cover on the ground. It's really going to knock temperatures back. Average high this time of the year 27. We'll see highs mainly in the teens with just a couple of 20s peppered in over the next week and some more snow on Christmas Day. Right now 26 in Oshkosh winds north northeast at 16 miles an hour. Wind chills currently at 14. Across the state, not a lot of snow being reported as of yet, but they are reporting snow in Superior. The rest of the state seeing temperatures in the mid 20s, but there's a dramatic temperature contrast. It's 68 right now in Cincinnati, 53 in Memphis, 70 in Atlanta, and you can see out ahead of this storm, it's drawing a lot of warm air and humid air northward for this time of the year. That is kind of getting wrapped around in the cold portion of the storm, which is what you're seeing back here, and it's that snow and the snow that's developing that's going to be lifting towards us and sitting on us during the overnight hours. Watch this on future track has the snow moving through around 2 a.m. Continue with snow through 6 a.m. Heavier snows, especially tomorrow morning, and then it moves out and the snow will taper down to light snow showers and flurries at times, but it continues overnight Saturday or Sunday night and into the day on Monday, especially the morning hours on Monday before things start to calm down. So you can see the snow moving in. Snow continues heavy at times, especially late tonight and tomorrow morning. And then it's just going to be light snow and flurries. We're just going to put ticky tack amounts on it all the way into Monday where we pick up an additional inch to two inches once the heavier snows stop. Winter storm warnings in effect for most of the area. Winter weather advisories out to the northwest. So the snow is going to accumulate maybe two to three inches by seven o'clock in the morning up to about five, five and a half inches by kickoff tomorrow afternoon. After that, we just kind of tack on another inch to inch and a half all the way into Monday afternoon. So for total snowfall, six to eight inches for most of us, four to six for northwest sections. You can see Green Bay, Appleton, Oshkosh, all in that six to eight inch range. You have to work out towards Shawano where it drops down to four to six and go about two to four. For tonight, snow develops, heavy snow late tonight, 21 for the low. Tomorrow, snow and blowing snow. I think blowing snow is gonna be a problem with this storm. Heavy in the morning. 24 for the high and then on Monday light snow showers continue Monday's high 19. If you're heading to the game, it's going to be snowing during tailgate lighter snow for kickoff and post game, but still some blowing snow around the area and the snow as I mentioned continues into Monday Monday's high 19 and then 12 a lot of sunshine on Tuesday. Another storm moves in and right now it looks like we'll pick up a one to three or two to four inch type snow on Christmas Day. So snow expected for Christmas. It'll be a white Christmas, definitely 23 for the high Christmas day and then 13 Thursday, eight on Friday with all the snow on the ground. As soon as the clouds clear out, 